what shape? This is triangle. Ooh, Eva is cutting a triangle. And for wow. That's a good idea. Yeah. So since you're cutting shapes, triangle, and what is that? A square I'm gonna make. Ooh. Hmm. Did you think what I think? Eva? Yeah! I have a good idea. How about let's talk perimeter? Perimeter is this size round of the shape. Wow! How did you know that, Eva? Don't forget to hit that subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. Hi guys, we're back and welcome back to our channel. Yes, so today we will talk about what perimeter. Perimeter. So before we will start, do you have an idea what is perimeter, guys? Perimeter is the round of the shape. Yeah, that's right. Kids, perimeter is the distance around the shape. Yeah. Ta-da! What shape is this? Triangle. Yes, it is a triangle. Now, we have to find what is the perimeter of this triangle? So the triangles, guys, has three sides. One, two, three. So let's pretend that the triangle in this side has two meters. And this side, another two meters and this side is two meters too so two meters plus two meters plus two meters equals six, six meters good yeah. job eva so guys what is the perimeter of a triangle Do you know Eva? Yeah. It's six meters. That's the perimeter of the triangle. So do you have an idea how to get the perimeter? In order to find the perimeter of the shape, you have to sum up or add up the total numbers on each side, guys. That's the distance. The total number of distance in each side. Get it? Ooh. What shape is this kid? Do you know what shape is this? Square. A square. So now I have a ruler. First we just assume. Now we how to measure it. Okay, a roller has an inches and a metric centimeter. Inches and a centimeter, these tiny numbers. Okay, you have to measure it by inches. We will just use inches, okay? So the square, the, this side has 11 inches. And let's see the side of the square, the other side, the length. This side is the width and this one is the length. So let's measure it. Oh, it has 11, 11 inches also. So many to see guys, 11 inches here, 11 inches here. 11 inches here and 11 inches on the bottom side. So, right, 
left, top, bottom, half, 11 inches each side. So, 11 perimeter of this square is 44 inches. Wow! What is the perimeter of this square? If there is cool. 11, if there is 11 inches each side. Four. 24. Yeah, because you just pretend that there is two meters here. Are you listening, Eva? Yeah. Two meters here. And two meters, two meters, two meters. So two plus two, Eva. Two plus three equals four. Plus two. Plus two. So eight meters in the square. Wow. That sounds interesting. Eva, watch. So it's a rectangle. Yeah. Again, what shape is this kid? Rectangle. Do they have the same sides or not? No. No. Because as you can see, the width of this rectangle is shorter than the length. See? So, what will happen? The length is longer than the width. See? The width is shorter. Okay, now let's start. Oh. So, the length of this rectangle is 13 inches. Width is, let's just say 10. So, I think that is too much numbers for Eva. But it's okay. I know you guys are more older than Eva, I know you can add up more, way more. So Eva is just five years old, it's considerable. So let's see, the length of these rectangles is 13, 13 inches. And the width is 10. So 13 plus 10, plus 13 plus 10 46 so 30 so guys the perimeter of this rectangle is 46 yes so that means in finding the perimeter is to add up all the measure of the distance of the shape. So you're adding up all the numbers, the measurement of each side of the shape. That's why the rectangle has 46 perimeter. That's why the perimeter of the rectangle is 46. Wow! That's kind of hard for Eva. So Eva, did you understand? Yeah! Now I'm going to ask you how to find the perimeter of the shape. So in order to find the perimeter of the shape, you have to sum up all the measures of each side. So whether it is inches, a meter, a yard, any kind of measurements, you can still use, you can still add up those numbers and then the total of those numbers will be your perimeter.
That's why we share this video stuff for you kids. To learn. Uh huh, exactly. Because learning is a continuous process. Yeah. So don't stop learning, guys. Yeah. Even you're so old. Yeah. Yes. How about you, Eva? Do you love learning too? Yes. Oh, that's good because you're still too young. You need to learn more. Yes. Study more. Read. Yeah. Read. 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 And make it a habit so that you will have knowledge. And without knowledge, no power. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you get something from us, even just a tiny bit. Okay, that's it for today, guys. See you in our next vlog. So don't forget to hit that subscribe and get a big thumbs up. So goodbye. Bye bye.